it's time for centers. All right, so I remember we guys are gonna do a little activity using a paper, a marker, some nice colorful paint, and a Q-tip. All right, so Michelle's already started this activity. So you guys, uh, mom and dad, you can use a marker at home and let them write their name, or you can help them write their name on another sheet of paper. So we're gonna just do this list together. So my name is S H A T H A. All right, that's my name, my friends. Let mommy and daddy help your name. All right, and then we're gonna take a Q-tip. You guys don't have paint, it's all right. We can just sit there and just trace it with a marker. You can take the top of the marker and just like pretend to trace it with. So we're gonna use a marker here. I have green, so I'm gonna use green. And you guys can use a Q-tip by making dots by tracing the letter S. That I'd start with my letter, my name. If you guys wanna be creative, you can use the also yellow. You can make dots. You can trace it with the Q-tip just like that. You can make dots, Q-tips, um, tracing. You can use your finger. If you guys want to use a, um, paint with your finger, you can trace it with. If you guys don't have paint, you can use it with your finger just like that for fun. Um, Q-tips are nice ideas to use as well. Or also you can trace it with another marker of a different colored marker. Um, also, our sensory activity, uh, we put our little Legos in here and cotton balls. You can have friends collect the cotton balls in cups by counting together how many in there. So we can count together. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. I just put six in a cup. And also, you can have friends dig them in and let's build together. And maybe they can put cotton balls in and see if they can actually connect together. That's also another activity you guys can do in a cotton ball activity with Legos. If you guys um, have any questions, please let us know. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.